I shouldn't have taken the money. That's exactly what one woman is saying after her business booking rooms in the Wisconsin Dells lands her in court. Customers tell Contact 6 their rooms were unavailable and their refunds were hard to get. Jenna Sachs with this Contact 6 report. There's nothing quite like a getaway to the Wisconsin Dells. It was supposed to be a, a big four bedroom presidential suite. Chique Rodriguez has visited before, his last trip for a special occasion. It was for a, a birthday, and my birthday. Through a Facebook page called Wisconsin Dells Condo Deals, Chique got a great deal, $675 for three nights at Club Wyndham Glacier Canyon. Family, friends, everybody to come together basically in the Dells. But when his family went to check in. There was no reservation. Making matters worse, Chike learned. Condo owners are not even supposed to be on Facebook advertising. The Facebook page Chike used rents condos for Club Wyndham timeshare owners, but it does so without Club Wyndham's knowledge or approval, meaning the Facebook page can't actually guarantee the rooms it rents. I was like livid. I was I, almost to the point where like I could cry. We are trying to alert as many consumers as possible about the past operations of this company. The Wisconsin Better Business Bureau has 65 complaints about the operator, Colleen Wogranessa Jesperger, in three years. Not just about Wisconsin Dells condo deals, but about her other pages Destination Vacation, Kate Deals, and Danny Deals. People aren't getting refunds, and the com company is being non communicative. On a Facebook page devoted entirely to scams in the Wisconsin Dells. Stories about Colleen are all over. The Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection has 42 complaints about her vacation rentals. Now the Wisconsin Department of Justice confirms it's assisting local law enforcement with the criminal investigations. The defendant will not reject probation. Which brings us to Outagamie County Court. No, they changed their rules and said that owners couldn't let guests use the condos on weekends any longer. Colleen pleaded guilty October 8th to misdemeanor theft and false representation. She can't keep doing this. Bridget Lawrence is at the center of the case. She and her extended family paid more than $1,000 for a stay at Glacier Canyon. Then two days before the trip, learned their booking wasn't valid. She told us we would get our refund in two days. And then that two days was like, oh, maybe in two weeks. It is always something else. And it's like, Okay, are we ever going to get our money back? Colleen did pay Bridget back just before her sentencing. Um, seems self-serving, helps you. Uh, your back is sort of against the wall. Judge Mark McGinnis called Colleen manipulative. He said she wasn't taking responsibility and hadn't apologized. I do feel very sorry. I feel awful that I ruined their vacation. That was not my intent ever. Colleen left the court in the custody of a deputy, sentenced to 10 days in jail and probation. Her exit sparking a flurry of activity. As deputies booked Colleen, a DOJ agent wrote this email to the court accusing her of fraud by using a free public defender when she doesn't need one. I know that she has significant income from various means. I was shocked to find she was being represented at public expense. I am making a formal notification of fraud to the state public defender's office. In the meantime, a second theft case has been filed against Colleen in Pierce County. The victim in that case says she waited six months for her refund after learning her booking in the Dells wasn't valid. I'm glad that, you know, it's coming to light and that Justice is getting her. Chike is still waiting for his refund. Ten months later, he found a smaller room in the Dells for his birthday. I couldn't even enjoy my stay up there while I was up there because I was just thinking about, you know, the money that I lost. Colleen Wogranessa Jesperger used to live in Appleton but moved to Illinois. She told the judge she's learned her lesson and is no longer booking rooms for people in the Dells. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6.